Now, as we're all aware, there was another tragic uh, incident that took place at a school in Georgia only a few days ago. And the suspect, the person responsible for carrying out this atrocious act, was only 14 years old. 14-year-old boy named Colt Gray. Now that Colt Gray is in custody, a bunch of lies and rumors have begun swirling about this very guy. The latest one that's being peddled by a lot of conservatives everywhere is that he was LGBT. He was trans. He was gay. And that leads me to the first video that I came across yesterday that I thought we'd go ahead and take a look at. Before we even start this video, we're going to debunk some of these lies, okay? So the title of this dude's video, the st first of all, his channel is called The Story Box. And uh, the title of his video is 14-year-old Georgia school shooter identified as trans. Well, here's the headline of a Daily Mail article that says, Revealed, Georgia school shooter Colt Gray was bullied for being gay. <gasps> so he was gay? Hold on. What did it actually say? Oh, okay. Here's what really happened. So, Colin Gray, Colt Gray's father, made the claims when he was interviewed by the Jackson County Sheriff's Office after the FBI received a tip that his son had threatened a shooting at his middle school. And the father says this in the transcript. He just wants to have a simple life. All that, like, he should be excited about getting into eighth grade. It's just very difficult for him to go to school and not get picked on by, you know, how it went from one thing to another. You know, he was talking to a couple friends he has. I was trying to get him on the golf team. Like, oh, okay, so he's saying, I was trying to get him on the golf team, and then the friends were like, oh, look, Colt's gay. He's dating that guy and just ridiculed him day after day. So was this guy gay? Or was he called gay by bullies? Because the transcript we have is strongly suggesting that he was called gay. Even Fox News says, alleged Georgia shooter's father said son was bullied at school, called gay by classmates. I'm sorry, I've been called gay many times. I'm not gay. Just being called gay does not mean you're gay. And of course, the father is also facing charges. Authorities claimed that Colin knew and allowed his son Colt to have access to his firearms in the household ahead of Wednesday's shooting. The Jackson County Sheriff's Office had visited the Gray household multiple times and had flagged the 14-year-old as a person of interest leading up to the shooting. So all we really know based on these transcripts is that he was bullied and called gay. Not that he was gay. And certainly not that he was trans. There's nowhere about him being trans. Even New York Post. Georgia school shooter Colt Gray was ridiculed by classmates frequently called gay, according to his father. Even more so, a Fortnite streamer was roped into the trans panic after pictures were used to falsely ID the Georgia school shooter. The 14-year-old shooter who killed two students and two teachers on Wednesday is facing accusations of being transgender by some right-wingers online. But there's two problems with that. First, the suspect himself posted his dislike of transgender people online, according to CNN. CNN obtained documents about a Discord account that the FBI had linked to Gray last year. On Discord, Gray reportedly wrote, I'm committing a mass shooting and I'm waiting a good two to three years, and separately expressed frustration with the acceptance of trans people. Second, one image that some right-wingers are circulating as evidence of their transgender claim is not an image of the suspect. Rather, it's a digitally altered photo of a Fortnite streamer. The false image was amplified by a right-wing influencer whose posts racked up more than 1 million views. Okay, now that we've gotten through that long preamble, we can now begin the video. Now we know that this is going to be lies, and uh, it'll be a lot of fun to just laugh at it. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I personally didn't want to have to make this video. I ummed and ahed about it. I didn't necessarily feel comfortable with talking about this subject matter. Uh, I didn't, personally, I just was upset, angry, all kinds of emotions because I'm dealing with uh, four innocent lives that were lost at the hands of a deranged 14 year old lunatic that was known to the FBI being deranged. They didn't do anything about it. And also the father knew that his son had significant mental health problems and he still gifted his son 
an AR-15 style rifle. So this was unfortunately bound to take place because this young 14 year old was lied to for the most, most of his life. And he felt like he could carry something like this out 14 years old. It's a very young age to be doing something like this. You don't really know the full extent of what you're doing, do you? But nevertheless, this young person was so deranged that he thought that by killing innocent young people, as well as teachers, that he could perhaps help his cause. What was his cause? You may be wondering. Well, this person happened to identify as being trans. He used she, they pronouns. Uh, is that true? He's referring to the fake account online. Someone made a fake account and it fooled conservatives. Oh, an image shows the so. Oh, that's where he's getting all this false information from two days ago. Oh, good eye, Mike. Welcome here out on the Bobby. I'm so conflicted, oi, to make this video, oi, based on a fake fucking tweet. An image shows the social media profile of the accused suspect in the high school shooting. This image shows an ex account posing as the Georgia high school shooting suspect. The account has since been deleted, but it wasn't the suspects to begin with. So on September 5th, before the shooting even took place, the profile said to any lawyers, journos, cops, and the CIA, this content is all fake and made up. And the user's name wasn't Colt Gray, it was S Poster. What appears to be a screenshot of an X profile shows a person wearing what looks like a Harris hat in a shirt that says trans with a bio that says Kamala 2024 end all maggots and a gun emoji. The bio also says she, her, they trans pride and gives Winder Georgia as location. The name on the profile is Colt Gray, but it's fake, a fake account. <laughs> so a fake fucking account pops up, posts a lie that the school shooter was trans and used she, they pronouns. And this dumb fuck latched onto it like a leech and is now just making videos about it. It's another reason why I didn't want to make this video because yet again, we have this major mental health crisis on our hands, but it's only- You definitely should have trusted your gut instinct to not make this video because it's like subconsciously you knew you were wrong voted significantly by the American government. The Democrats are supportive of this. They will say, we want to protect the likes of trans kids. We want to protect the misunderstood, but yet they're affirming the madness and the lie even more. It's not oh, helping no. the He's literally gonna build this entire video now off of a lie. He's literally talking about like trans people and Democrats believing lies and reaffirming lies. He's a conservative reaffirming a lie right now. Issue, in fact, it's making it worse. The only way you can help these people is by psychological intervention. These people are mentally disturbed. And by saying or by affirming the mental disturption, you're only amplifying it even more. So does that mean like forcing people to go to therapy where they can learn that they're not trans and be taught to suppress their sexuality or their trans identity? Perhaps like a, a conversion therapy type thing? Is that what you are referring to when you say psychological intervention? A mental illness is defined by something that causes daily turmoil and distress and hinders your day-to-day -day life. Being trans does none of this, but bigotry directed towards trans people absolutely does fucking hurt trans people. Discrimination against trans people absolutely does hinder their day-to-day -day lives. Another reason why I didn't want to make this video is because there's nothing Americans love more than an Australian talking about a school shooting. I'm not in favor of banning guns. I think Americans do have a right to bear arms and I think it's the only thing that's keeping Americans safe at the moment, believe it or not. I'm not one of those Australians that go, you need to ban guns, you need to get rid of them. I'm one of these people that goes, you need to look at the person wielding the gun because also here in Australia, if you don't fix the mental health problem, people are going to find the various ways to carry out what they want to carry out. Okay, that's true. But conservatives who are the biggest supporters of guns and Second Amendment rights also don't give a single fuck about funding mental health. He's right when he says that mental health needs to be addressed if we're going to continue with the gun rights conversation. He's correct about that. But at the same time, conservatives are not addressing the mental health. We have a lot of youth crime here in Australia. We have a lot of knife crimes. We have a lot of things happening. 
because yeah, of, you don't have mass shootings. There's a difference. You don't have the same rate of death. If a person wants to find a way to carry out whatever the hell he wants to carry out, he will damn well do it. Nothing is going to stop him. We had the Bondi guy that ran around. This is ridiculous, by the way. Nothing will stop him. Well, then how come states that have more gun restrictions also have less school shootings? Clearly, we can do things. And by the way, just saying there's nothing can, that can be done. Evil people are going to do evil things. OK, it's true that evil people will absolutely try to do evil things. So we should try to do as much as we possibly can to prevent evil people from doing this. Exactly. Yeah. Nothing can stop this, says the only country where this is happening regularly. Because if you really think you're going to get rid of Americans right to bear arms, you've got another thing coming. Try and take a gun off a redneck is like trying to take drugs <laughs> off a <laughs> of a bogan in Australia. They're one and the same. I know it's probably offensive to bogans and, and rednecks, but nevertheless, it's true. Maybe a rather crude way of saying it, but it's the fact of life. Okay, and am I saying that all bogans are druggies? Not all of them, but quite a few. Uh, yeah, nobody necessarily wants to. Well, I mean, that's not true. I guess. Sure, there are some people that want to re like repeal the, the Second Amendment. I don't think that's ever going to happen. I think that's really silly and very uh, far-fetched, obviously. However, even the fucking Constitution says Americans have the right to bear arms, to have a well-regulated militia. Having regulations is not a problem, and it's not an encroachment of the Second Amendment. Because here's the thing. These regulations prevent evil people or uh, people, criminals, from accessing weapons as easily. But if you're a law-abiding gun owner, if you're a law-abiding citizen, you will have no problem getting through the regulations in order to obtain a weapon. You don't ban the instrument. You look at why that person has picked up that instrument in the first place to carry out whatever the hell he wants to carry out. Now, in the hands of a lunatic... There's a little bit of a difference because guns are created for the express purpose of killing or at least wounding. It is a killing machine. That is what it's designed for. On the flip side, somebody takes a car, runs a bunch of people over. That's messed up. But cars serve a purpose outside of just killing people. Cars were not created with the express purpose of running people down and mowing down people in war or hunting down animals and mowing them down with your car tires. That's not what cars were meant for. Cars have a, an expressed purpose and use outside of anything harmful to humans. In the hands of a professional, however, that is mentally stable and knows how to use it, could be a different scenario. Also in the hands of a mentally stable person who has a gun, walks around the street with that gun, he's obviously not going to do anything about it. He's not going to shoot random people. But when you've got a mental health crisis on your hands, like the one the transgender movement pushes to say that you can be something that you're not, the lie and the confusion with that, what do you think is going to happen? You're going to have... So the school... Wait. So the school shooting happened because trans people... Oh my God. This man should just stick to fucking kangaroos. I don't know what the hell he's on about right now. When you teach people lies, mate... They're going to shoot up schools. This is not pushing lies or falsehood or anything of the sort. Gender is a socially constructed form of identity, meaning that people can identify with different parts of gender. Gender makes sense once you actually take the time to understand it. You're going to have a young 14-year-old that thinks that transgender people are being killed left, right, and center, which is a downright lie. And so what does he do? He goes after the ones that he thinks that are responsible. His classmates. This man... Okay... Now I get it. That's why his channel is called The Story Box. Because he's not delivering any facts. He's just giving us a story. He's literally just making shit up right now. It really is absurd. And it's quite tragic and sad because this young kid not only ruined his life, his father's life, his family's life, but the lives of all those people that he took. He took the life of a 14-year-old boy too. I mean, that's devastating to even say. 14 years old. Life just gone straight away. All because this young person was lied to. And All the because this person was lied to. So wait, the super conservative dad that regularly took his son's uh, son hunting, that showed photos of his son with deer blood all over his face from going hunting with his son saying, this was the best day ever. 
the guy that allegedly gifted his son an AR-15 in Georgia, you're telling me that that man is simultaneously uber progressive lying to his son and saying, you can be a girl. That's okay with me. Really? But this motherfucker right here, Storybox Aussie, he is a liar. And somebody lied to him. This is what happens when you're lied to. You get up here and you make long ass videos telling a fucking fictional story to construct your flimsy narrative. It is so embarrassing how much they fucking hate trans people that a fake Twitter account is all it takes. They don't even fact check it. And the government continues with the lie. They don't want to deal with the real issue. In fact, they just use it as a political motivation. And the mean. government wants to deal with the lie and not the real issue. Listen, what he's getting at right here is that like, you can't, you don't just treat the symptoms. You have to treat the underlying disease. You realize that even within medical context, while treating the underlying disease, you also treat the symptoms. Even if there's an underlying mental health problem, the symptoms need to be addressed as well. And the symptom of this underlying mental health problem is mentally unwell people having easy access to fucking killing machines. That is a problem. We don't need to take away legal gun owners, Second Amendment rights to implement more restrictions to ensure that mentally deranged people are not accessing these guns. If you want to go the route of it's not the gun, it's the person, fine. Then don't be a bitch about putting regulations in place to prevent the person from getting a weapon if that person is dangerous. I saw a young lady, she posted a, a, a video on, I think it was TikTok, that circulated over on Twitter, and she was saying the exact same thing. Banning guns is not going to do a damn thing. You've got to look at the moral decay in our society. You've got to look at the mental health problems that not just America's got, but the entire stinking world's got at the moment. <laughs> what? Before we start looking at the very urgent and immediate problem of innocent little children being massacred in schools. Well, first we have to deal with all the mental health problems in the entire world. Like what the hell is he talking about? So now we need to fix all the mental health problems before we can address the gun violence issue. <laughs> okay. Okay, homie. And yeah, you're right. His argument literally is, I got drunk and broke my leg. Don't fix my leg. We need to deal with my substance abuse. You gotta look at that. We need help. We need Jesus back into the classrooms first and foremost. We need like spirituality. Did you just say we need Jesus back in the schoolrooms? You might be a conservative if you're more invested in getting Jesus back into the classroom than you are in getting guns out of them. Like spirituality. It's been deprived of so many people. So many people are angry. It is a fact that at the same time, according to Pew Research, that the majority of Americans prioritize religion and Christianity. The majority of Americans said their relationship with God was the most important thing to them. The majority of Americans said they went to church. During this same period, mass shootings were also increasing. They still took place. So even in America, when God was prioritized, when Jesus was in the classrooms, we were still dealing with mass shootings. So don't fucking get up here all smug and act like we just need God and spirituality back. We had God and spirituality before, and guess what? It didn't fucking do shit. God's hedge of protection was able to be shot right through. You got all these mixed messages, not just coming from the government, but you got social media, which is the bane of human existence at the moment. With all these horrible ideas being pushed, young kids, are going on social media looking at this stuff and being more and more indoctrinated or confused. And then you've got- The fact that this guy is posting a video on the internet where he says the internet is the bane of humans' existence because it's so easy for people to fall for lies and be indoctrinated. As he is up here on the internet falling for lies, he's been indoctrinated and he's spreading bullshit. The self-awareness is at absolute zero. In America, in the school system, it's like, no wonder you've got young 14 year olds that are doing stuff like this because you've got teachers that are going, oh, what do you prefer pronouns? Or if you say that you are a, a girl or a boy and you're something else entirely, or you're non-binary, that kind of messaging or that kind of rhetoric is not a healthy one at all. 
and only does more harm to a person's psychological. Well, yeah. No, actually, when you affirm trans people's uh, gender identity or just use their preferred pronouns, that 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 does a psychological good. That does a net positive for people's psychological well-being. That's already proven. So what are you talking about? That by accepting people for who they are, by accepting and validating people's gender identity, that's going to lead to more school shootings? What? When you respect people's gender identity, they are less likely to feel depressed and angry and aggressive and frustrated and sick of life and angry at everybody around them. Their mental health is likely to improve. So wouldn't it go to follow that you'd actually see a reduction in violence if people's mental health is improving upon the acceptance of their transgender identity? But instead, he's trying to say that by accepting trans people, that's going to lead to more school shootings? Uh, okay. People have, have warned the politicians. Do they care? Nah. But yet they go after someone like J.D. Vance, who says that we need to have more armed guards in classrooms because school shootings are an unfortunately tragic part of life, which evidently they are when you've got mentally deranged lunatics like this 14 year old running around identifying as being trans. Yeah. That's because it's super fucked up that somebody running for fucking vice president would be like, well, school shootings are just a part of life. Well, welcome to America. That's just how it's gotta be around here. You know, running around identifying as being trans and taking the life of innocent young kids and teachers. They weren't identifying as being trans. You're taking the life of innocent brain cells of mine. This is his face. Okay. Have a look at it. A good hard look at it. Uh-huh. This is the face of a young kid that believed in an evil life. And there is more, unfortunately, more young kids like this. And it wouldn't surprise me. If Actually, this is the face right here of a man who believed an evil lie. He, he's so pent up on his fucking hatred of trans people that the minute he sees a fake ass Twitter profile post, listen, everybody, this is fucking urgent, mate. And then accusing everybody else, accusing trans people of being the people to fall for lies. Morgan McMichael goes, shocker, this person goes by she, they, and is a dude. Matt Wallace goes. This is just like a bland fucking quartering video at this point. I mean, the quartering's boring enough, but this man managed to take the quartering's format and make it even more boring. Wait, every single mass shooting in the last two years has been carried out by a transgender individual? That is a factual lie. Fact check, most mass school shootings are not carried out by transgender people. So there's the fake profile. Majority of US mass shootings are cis men, not transgender or non-binary people. A spokesperson for the Violence Project, which records data on mass shootings in the U.S. since 1966, with four or more people killed in public, told Reuters via email that Nashville is the first case of a trans perpetrator in their database. And per their methodology, the Gun Violence Archive, which began collecting data on gun violence in the U.S. in 2013, recorded more than 4,400 mass shootings in the last decade. Of those, quote, the number of known suspects in mass shootings, which are trans, is under 10 for the last decade. Thank you to the good old statistics, once again, slapping conservatives in the face. Wouldn't it suck to be a conservative? It's literally like boxing against data, facts, statistics, science. It's just like boxing against that as your opponent and getting knocked out over and over and over and over again. Chai Raddick goes, the school shooting story basically disappeared after it came out that the FBI was warned about him in 2023. The story didn't just disappear. What are you talking about? All right, and then it's just him reading tweets the whole time. So basically, this man got on here, made an entire fucking video about the transgender lie, even though he's the one who fell for the lie. So cringe. Well, thank you, uh, The Story Box. I've never seen your channel, and I hope that I never see your channel again. Also, I totally understand why you're called the story box, because you did nothing but ramble on and give us a fictional story. Thank you for that, you deranged lunatic. If you want to support the channel, please consider becoming a member today. Members get early access to videos, access to all the stream VODs, and exclusive access to emotes as well. So if you'd like to support the channel, become a member today.